Hey guys, if you like to party and the stop block is what you're trying to go fast on, we have a new brand for you here. Stop block the world. Go to the link in the video and support us. It should eventually lead to t-shirts, hoodies, and other apparel. What's up guys? Uh, other day, buddy sent me a screenshot. I saw well, there was some stuff on Black Friday sale that I uh, had been wanting. Um, I don't really get on Facebook a lot or ever, so I, I always miss the deals when they pop up. Uh, so I saw a chance to get these brand new and I jumped on it uh, so here's the still waiting for the the back part to come in but so far the fronts came in uh, these are the projects you know these are sold by Don Lamana uh, once I uh, get the other set in I'll show you you know how awesome they are which I'm sure those of you familiar familiar with this stuff uh, will understand but what I need to do is make brackets for the front since the ones they send by default just aren't going to work. So I'm still kind of brainstorming on that, but I have an idea. But the uh, main reason that I got these is the car's so low that it's very hard to jack up and check things, even here in the shop. Uh, so this will make it uh, easier at the track. It's an air of a hydraulic system, so all we got to do is you know, run the uh, air compressor to it and pump them up. So it's, it's just going to make servicing the car when necessary a lot easier and doing other things. Even scaling the car will be easier because uh, it'll be easier to let the whole car, you know, down at once uh, and everything. But what I got to do now, I'm going to start figuring up uh, my design for these front tabs. And, uh, and then I can uh, get those things cut out on the plasma table. Uh, what's cool about the rear is the way Marty's uh, lower brackets are. They already have a spot for them, so we're good to go on the rear tabs. So the front is all we got to worry about. So I got it drawn up here in my Autodesk Fusion 360 software. Uh, talked to uh, Don at PSI Performance and got his opinion on it. And he's pretty picky and he liked it. Uh, made the bottom here a little bit wider. That way, I, as uh, Don had heard, that sometimes it's good to have a little movement room there. For one set of the jacks so since i'm making these front brackets we'll have that there and that's like that's 2.3 from the opening there to there so up there it's a little bit smaller but it gives us just a little bit of room uh in case the uh, jacks need to pivot some uh on the actual mounting point which ideally they shouldn't but this will be there just in case so now i'm going to get this uh computer over to the uh plasma table and cut this thing out So I went over there and test fit it. It works a little bigger than I like, a little bulky, but I don't want to put holes in it and risk the uh, strength, you know. And, you know, I'm not an engineer, so I could be uh, worrying too much. And as you can tell, I'm trying to center this uh, and not doing a good job. But anyways, uh, I'm going to cut another one like this uh, and then, uh, then clean them up. I don't think I'll get them well done today. I'll probably do it Tuesday night. But that's uh, what I've got. So let's get this other piece cut. Alright guys, Tuesday night, uh, I decided to keep those brackets, even though they're ugly, uh, they're thick, but you know, it's pretty important to hold the car up, so uh, I'm just going to get over it. Uh, I got to clean this area off right here where it's going to mount, I'm about to come over here with the little wire wheel you know, on both sides, 
and they want to get all that stuff cleaned up, I'll drag the welder over and, and get these things uh, welded on. All right, the tabs are on. Now we're getting ready to move these things into place. That one's back there. That one's back there. And we will uh, record the first uh, raising up of the car with these things. All right, it took a second to figure out how to use the pump, but uh, I think we got it working now. So this will be the first time we actually raise it all the way up.
as you guys can tell, a um, little bit of a learning process. First time we've ever used these. We've uh, we've seen people use them, but it's one of those things. It's like you know, I don't think I ever have to worry about it. I don't pay attention. Um, but uh, the car is actually really stable uh, now that they're all now that it's fully seated. We also learned trying to raise them together it doesn't go too well with the jack. So uh, it looks like with this car, how the front end is, it'll be best to raise the rear a uh, good part of the way and then uh, get the front going, then finish raising the rear and seat the front. So pretty, uh, pretty cool. Uh, just got to get used to it. They're kind of touchy. And obviously if you got something you know, like this sitting up in the air, you can't help but be nervous about it. And these jacks are pretty tall too, so it'll definitely help out with being able to work on things if necessary. And if we got to take stuff apart, uh, you know, without, without being able to have the convenience of a lift. So uh, all in all, pretty cool. Uh, pretty happy about it. Definitely will come in handy. And also the car looks games are sitting on them. Just wanted to get you guys a quick under the car video. Um, you know, before, as you noticed in a lot of our videos, we would have the wooden blocks right here to uh, sit the car on. But now, this even, this sits the things up a lot higher. You know, you would think before, I think those blocks were roughly, uh, I don't know, 12 to 14 inches tall. And it definitely held, but it wasn't, still wasn't great. But these right here are, definitely gives you a lot more room to work underneath the car. And actually sits up higher, so when you're working on the engine on plugs and stuff, um, it's a bit easier. You can tell the front tabs there doing their job. I am going to go and weld uh, washers on the end of these uh, sliders right there. Um, the slider is the uh, adjustable rod. That way, if you don't have one out far enough or something, it just it can't slide out, you know. Because uh, they have pressure on them, so they can't slide anyways. But if you want to get too close to the edge of that chunk of steel and have it not uh, slide out or have it slide out. And back here, you know, we didn't have to make any back here because Marty's brackets already had spaces for them. They were perfectly made. Uh, so that worked out well. You can tell we just got a little more width back here uh, on the uh, adjustable part. So that'll uh, give you a little more uh, a little more comforting having the washers on there so it can't slide. And while I'm in here, let me see. I don't see any uh, signs of the drive shaft rubbing anything. So that's good, even though all we've done is spun. Uh, all in all, happy with the investment. Uh, we'll make working on the car a lot easier. You know, before it took two different jacks, which and it takes two jacks now, but still took two jacks just to raise the front up. Now we can raise the whole car up with two jacks and they're low profile. Uh, and this will uh, make just uh, getting the car uh, you know, service between rounds if we need to do things a lot easier. Uh, and, and it looks cool. And that, that matters too. It looks cool. So, anyways, appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe.